Welcome to the March 2023 market update in Las Vegas. Well, our inventory is still dropping, so we need more of your listings. Um, so what does that mean for people who are selling their homes right now? Well, we're kind of looking at the same thing. If your home is the prettiest on the block, if your home is the best priced on the block, you're not going to have a problem selling. If both of those things are not true, then your home is going to sit for a little while because interest rates are at 7%. So what people can afford is a little bit less than what they could even just a few months ago. But the good news is on the buying front, you're still getting some incentives from the sellers and if you're looking at buying at all, you need to be looking at new home construction because these builders are giving away so much stuff. Prices are still high, but in a lot of cases, you can actually make offers, which when's the last time that you could make an offer on a new construction home? I honestly don't ever remember a time when you could do that, but right now you can. And they're giving you um, incentives as far as interest rates. Some of the builders are actually offering a 4.99 interest rate when they're 7% if you're buying a resale. So it does make sense that even if you're looking at resale homes, still go out and look at the new construction properties because you might be surprised how much more house you can buy with a lower interest rate. And with everything, just keep in mind, you are not married to the interest rate. If you can afford the payment, that is what you need to focus on. Interest rates, you can refinance. But if you can't afford the payment, then it doesn't make sense to buy the house. So I know when I first bought my, or when I first bought my first house, when I bought my first house, uh, we paid like in the 9% range. And the crazy thing about it is because I wasn't in real estate, I honestly didn't even know that our interest rate was that much because all I looked at was this is what I can afford to spend every single month on my mortgage. And if I hit that number, then I was good. The interest rate didn't even come into play until later on when all of the interest rates started coming down and then we could refinance. And then we thought we hit the lottery because we got to save, you know, a couple hundred dollars a month off of our mortgage. So there's always a way to accomplish what you need to accomplish. You just need to sit with somebody who can put together a strategy for you so that you can do what it is that you want to long-term, not just today. So look at new construction, get those incentives on the resales. Um, you're going to be surprised how much home you can still actually get. And even if you're looking in the higher end, um, Blue Heron is a um, semi-custom home builder here in Las Vegas. They are offering incentives. <sighs> Blew my mind. I got the email, I think it was yesterday, saying that they were offering incentives. Never seen that before on a semi-custom property. So keep in mind, you need to find somebody who that you who has this information that you can talk to them about it so that you get all of the details about what's actually happening in the market so you can make the best decision possible. On top of all of that, if incentives aren't enough, if you're moving from another state, Nevada has the fourth lowest property tax rate in the country. So some of the other lists we may not be 
at the top of those lists, but for property taxes, we are. So if you're looking to move from California, New York, Chicago, where you can barely afford your property tax, ours are really good. And we also have no state income tax. So the money that you're saving in those areas could potentially put you in a really great position to actually save money when you move here to Nevada. So the other thing that I want to make sure that you all know, because we have a lot of things changing right now with the water conservation efforts that are being put in place by the Southern Nevada Water Authority, Um, if you've seen the bathtub ring around Lake Mead, that's because our water levels are dropping at Lake Mead because the Colorado River has not been getting as much um, snow melt from the Rockies. And so that means that there's not as much water to go around. So I'm doing a water series so that you have all of the information from the Southern Nevada Water Authority that they are giving to the public That way, you can feel confident knowing that we are not running out of water um, and that all of the ways that we're conserving here um, are really helping the efforts here in Clark County. So one of those things is people also move to Las Vegas because they're looking for land. They're looking for half-acre lots, acre lots. We still have homes here that are on well water and that have septic systems. So be aware before you buy a home that has a well or septic that you do your due diligence because if either of those break, you may be required to hook up to city water and city sewer. And the reason is because the sewer, if it is not every, – everything that goes through a drain in our homes goes right back out to the lake, is cleaned, is processed, and comes right back in through our homes. On septic, you can't do that. All of that is a closed system. So you, they're not going to allow you to have those closed systems anymore. They want to be able to capture all all of that water to be reused again by the residents in Clark County. So just beware before you think you're going to buy this beautiful property that you're going to be able to have off-grid. That also applies to land. If you're buying land to build your dream home, just be aware that you are going to need to hook up to city sewer and city water. So if you have any other questions about that, please contact me, let me know, and I can point you in the right direction to get all of that information. Um, but other than that, I honestly think that we're we're sitting pretty. And if you do need to make a move, there are ways to make that happen right now um, that will make sense for you. And what I really specialize in is getting you from the home that you're living in now to where maybe you are so tired of dragging those laundry baskets with your kids up and down the stairs a hundred times to do laundry, and you are looking to maybe just upsize to a wonderful single-story home where everything is on one floor. That is what I specialize in. I specialize in getting you out of the home that isn't working for you anymore and into the home for your next phase of life. So I have called that the high roller method. I put a lot of work into this to help get you seamlessly from one place to the next with as little pain as possible. So if you're interested in learning more about it and how we have built that concierge service to serve your needs as as you are buying and selling at the same time, 
I would love to share that with you and to hop on a call with you to see how I can help you more. Thank you for joining me for the March market update. I will see you again in April.